<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Comic Airwaves. I'm going to keep using the word of the new arc. 2024 edition of Comic Airwaves, season two, arc two, episode two. Um, we're not having any episode titles like we used to, but we're back. We're back. We actually made it back, back after doing one whole episode. And uh, we decided, you know what? Let's do it again. Yeah, it's not too bad, this isn't. Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's actually all right, isn't it? You know, we're all like, I like you guys. You know, it's quite nice. You know, yeah. As a start. Standing, standing for an hour and a half <laughs> doing this. Yeah, I think it's worth it. You know, it's, you know you're, you're all really nice guys. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Scott. Oh, shit. Oh, so, Liam. I oh, wasn't Scott. ready. Okay. <laughs> Today, I'm joined by Phil. Then we have Martin. <laughs> I've clicked it. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing for Martin. And we have producer Welsh Liam down by there. The, the soundboard's broke, but hello. The soundboard's working. <laughs> it's we working. can hear it. It's fine. I can hear it. Oh, I can't hear, hear it. All good. Anyway, I can't hear it. <laughs> we will nail that. Okay. Episode four, five. I think we'll get it. We'll oh, I mean, I'm in charge, yeah. uh, maybe 10. All right, episode 28. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of people coming in on the chat. Uh, should we say hi? Yeah. Let's Do you want me to take over? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So in the chat tonight, we've got Diego. Hell yeah, yeah. my body is ready. The, the funny thing about this one was this was put up about three days ago. <laughs> so he's ready to go three days <laughs> yeah. in. He was I spare. hope he's not just... Just been sat there watching, sat waiting. there getting Three someone days. to bring him his uh, drinks and food, and and waiting. Three day waiting, build up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be that good. We've also got Chris Bell in tonight. Come Hi, on, mate. kids, ready to go. Buzzy is in here with us as well. We're looking forward to this. We've also got Added Lights Comics as well. Evening hey. all. And that's it for the moment. That's it. Thank you. Oh, one more, one more. Connie jumped in. Hey, Connie. Hey, Con. Hey, hey, Con. Oh, more's coming in. Oh, Christ. Keep, keep I'm overwhelmed. Coming, keep I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> it's Chris. Chris, I'm off my shelves. Hey, bitches. Hey. And we've got the BFG117. Oh, nice. Hello, good friend Luke. Hi, Luke. Hello, Luke. There we go. Interesting. And that's it so Go far. On. Can, can I just can I just add Dale. <laughs> can, can I just add that uh, Tiago was there three days ago, but he is there again live tonight he's, as well. Yeah, he's also yeah, here yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, he's here. Um, uh, Chris also said at some point earlier on, Phil's been on the show, but um, and been drinking the rum. He's looking forward to him puking at some point. Well, Come wait on, till you see cool. I do the news. There's going to be a terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was me pretending to be drunk. Pretending to be drunk. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, there we go. Can't wait um, to get this show going. It's going to be good fun. Uh, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to really is um, the giveaway. Um, that's going to be the can, biggest Can we thing. enter, please? Can we enter? Um, Let me... oh, no, I've been can. asking um, since we announced Ma it. Martin Scott tried. Martin's got two yeah, accounts and he did it like on both accounts. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, We're going to split it, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. Next time, next time. <laughs> if we ever have a next time. Um, so yeah, so there's going to be a £30 giveaway later on. The The entry is now closed. You cannot enter now uh, because the show has begun, but we will be doing that later on. But should we go ahead and say, and let you guys know what's uh, coming up on the show? Yes. Okie dokie. Yeah. Liam, take it away. Okay, here we go. Straight away, we got Ask and Deep Phil. Get your questions ready. Get them coming thick and fast and make him feel weird. Then we've got a new game, Heroes or Zeros. And then we're going to be doing our book of the month. What have we chosen as our favourite books of the month? Then after that, we've got Cover Lover. We enjoyed it last time. And this time, we've got a theme. Then we've got the news and weather after that. And then an old game, Fill in the Blanks. I like that one. It's going to be hard, boys. It's definitely going to be a hard game. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I had them. I made them all last night, and I was thinking, um, yeah, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. But let's oh. see who really knows how good you are with your superhero films. 
new and old. Ooh. I'll just give I'll give you that little hint there. Oof. Um, Martin, have you noticed anything about Phil? I've noticed anything about Phil? Yeah. <laughs> The energy I'm bringing to the table. I've not, not, not picked up on it. I've been watching them look at the chat. I've, I've... I I'm have standing up. I'm standing. Scott last yeah. week mentioned it's the energy we need for this. The upbeat, happy go lucky. Let's get to it. And last week when I was sitting down, or last month, remember I was sitting down. I had the the, the Udi on. I just didn't feel. Mm. Yeah. But now, you now I'm poly? pumped. Oh, he's yeah. really. I wasn't pretty. I was just I was just feeling sorry for myself. I'm a bit yeah. lazy last month, but now I'm. I've got the energy. Uh, good. Go. I'm glad. It's going to be a great show. Right. We have got Ask Andy Phil coming up right away. Right. We've got some questions prepared, but we want, obviously, you guys to get involved, ask some questions for Andy Phil. Um, we shouldn't, we should never really put this as the first thing. We should make people, help people prepare for this. But you've got like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute to get a question in if you want to ask Andy Phil something. Um, but it is our first thing to do. So without further ado, a further ado, ado, ado. ado. <laughs> it's time to ask Andy Phil. Okay. Is it... So uh, we I do have a question. Oh, you go, go on. on. You go on. Oh, go on. Go. 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 Me? We've got one in the chat, so it's, it's a good start. Okay. So let's let him build. Let's let him build. Um, build. I've got. This is a genuine question, right? I'm not trying to take the piss. This is an actual question that um, that and it, and it is comic related. Okay. So, Philip, Auntie yes. Philip, I have recently pre-ordered an omnibus. This omnibus will be replacing some of my trades. I have tried to sell se uh, said trades, but they aren't selling. What could I do to shift these trades in order to make some of the money back that I have spent on that omnibus to replace the trades um well my friend martin lewis um is all about making money you know <laughs> honestly <laughs> you, you just i'm going to guess it's the flash it it's is the flash it's josh yeah. williams in the flash and unfortunately you may suffer because the flash sucks now had they been sideboard trades Shut up you might be able to sell them Philip. on for profit no, I'm just kidding. No, um, <laughs> you could post them here. I want to buy some flash trades for the Joshua Williamson's run. Um, yeah. You just might have to knock 10% off at a time. I don't know. Offer them as a giveaway. Invest in comic airwaves, maybe, you know. But to recoup the money back, this is the this is the dangerous game the comic oh, book yeah. buyers play. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes you have to suck it up. But... I still think you persevere, you will sell. Everything sells. Like I still stuff on eBay that like has been listed for like over a year and that's crap. And one day it will just sell. Just go. Like just go. So it will sell eventually. Just just hang in there. Okay. I should or give them to somebody like me. Maybe I'll like the flash after reading it. You do like the flash. We to you told us. <laughs> I'll I'm having enough of this, right? Yeah. You have told us you like the flash now. The, jo the Jeremy like Adams run. Yeah, I, li I like Wally West. Yeah, you definitely love the Jeremy Adams run. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, should we take one from the chat? Let's go. Let's go. Right, Fuddy comes in first. Auntie Phil, last month I asked for advice with my wife. Since then, she's not spoke to me. <laughs> How can I win her back? Um, oh, was this the Mother's Day thing? Yeah. Yeah, uh, clearly he didn't take my advice <laughs> last <laughs> month, or else you'd be asking a different question like how to get rid of her. Uh, um, she won't leave me alone. Yeah, just just um, tell her your friends with us. I just be like, oh man, they're so cool. Those four they're guys really nice. on the internet, yeah. they're nice really guys. cool. They're nice. Yeah. Maybe Fuzzy, you're not you're not too bad after all. <laughs> um, and then just buy her like a kebab, you know. <laughs> Um, the most romantic some... of meals. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just <laughs> keep it simple. Put a, put a candle on the table or something. You know, like... Yeah, yeah. Glass just, of wine. Yeah. <laughs> glass just of be a glass. Of... You want a yeah. Yankee candle? Blossom it's Hill. Be like tikka meat Kabam. scented or something. <laughs> just yeah. buy the cheapest, the cheapest <laughs> wine in Asda or Tesco. The cheapest four pound bottle of wine you can get, and a cheap kebab. Not even like proper meat, you know, that kind of fake meat. Just get that, and you'll be okay. A sandwich filler. 
Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> it's mystery meat. <laughs> I mean, it works for me. That's yeah, that's my romantic evenings every Friday evening, you know. Every week, keeping that love alive, man. That's just that's well, I'm, I'm thinking more of my belly with a big kebab. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Fuzzy says on on the back of that, Fuzzy says <laughs> kebab, mm, romantic. Mm. Thanks, Auntie <laughs> Phil. I think he will be back next month after that. <laughs> That's Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, man. This is this is peak advice. Next up, we got the Funky Gibbons. Who's slipping one in on the chat? Uh, slipping one in to Auntie Phil. <laughs> Do you want Are me to read it for you? <laughs> yeah, read it right. I'll, I'll go on. Hey, Auntie Phil. As we all know, Superman wears his pants on the outside. So do you think he double pants? <laughs> do you think he double pants? Pants, spandex, pants? Or does he go commando oh. against the spandex? <laughs> I don't think he goes commando. Because, I mean, listen, we've all been there for like a run or the gym session. And sometimes, you know, the obvious skid mark appears. So he's not going commando, commando. Or the spandex are getting quite dirty. So at least at least we're in a what do you call it, a jock strap? Keep everything in place. Ah, uh, um, he's double pantsing. So I think he's double pantsing, yeah. <laughs> of, of, of some <laughs> degree, yeah. Because so, how on earth would you deal with those Kryptonian skip marks? <laughs> Nothing, Cleo. <laughs> he's gonna. They, they, they aren't coming out in a forty degree wash. Them things. To tell yeah. that now. So. Thank God he's got heat vision, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> he could sap God. them off. <laughs> like it's in the sun. Can I highlight this comment? Yeah, yeah. As if Phil's ever been in a gym. You're, you're, you're right, Fuzzy. What, what's that even look like? <laughs> uh, well, We've got, I can sleep easy tonight now. Yeah. We have got another one coming in. They're coming in thick and fast. Nice. Chris Bell, aren't you Phil? You allow a friend to borrow a book to read. When return, they fold it. Page corners. Ooh. Do you accept the do you the faux pas? Do you accept never. The faux pas? I, I don't care how, how good of a friend it is. Um, never. You either have to hold them a gunpoint to buy you a new book, a replacement, and if it's something that can't be replaced, then you you dig a massive hole in the ground and you put them in it <laughs> with the book. Nice. Um, yeah. I know people <laughs> that that yeah, like when they read. They bend the corners to like bookmark pages, or they actually just like they hold the book open. Oh, I show you, I show you. I'm not gonna do it properly, but they hold the book and then they do that and they oh. proper bend it all the way way round and they hold it then with one hand, and it's like, oh my god! I was like, you are never lending a book for me. Um, Liam has currently got some of my books. I trust yeah. him very much. I've well, let's see. Go, go, go and get them right now. <laughs> Yeah, come on, yeah. show us. We'll get them right now and show us. Um, I <laughs> have lent. I have lent him. Okay, bye. I have lent him uh, the first three volumes of Wicked and Divine oh. by Kieran Gillen. And you love that story. I really do like that story. Like Kieran Gillen, phenomenal writer. I love the way he thinks, um, and I love the way he makes me think. Um, so I've always oh, going all the way back there. I thought they were in his other bookcase. Um, so yeah, so either that or he's hiding in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> he's terrified. <laughs> can we, should we zoom? Should we? Zoom he can in? hear us, but can't can't speak back. So we can say whatever you want yeah. about him. He can hear everything, can, but can't retort we, back. Let's zoom in on him. So we can just see everything. We can just see him there. Is that ass crack? I see. That's good marks. <laughs> Kryptonian skid marks. There uh, he is. Oh, oh here he comes. Here he oh, let's see the condition. Does he pass the test? Oh, oh! These corners are, are looking sharp. Bookmark. That's okay. Yeah, it is all good, fine, perfect. All right, come on. We've got we've got an hour and a half. Just show us every page. <laughs> yeah, just read the okay. read the book. <laughs> uh, I can show you where I got to. This this is where I currently am. <laughs> nice. Okay, oh. look at those corners. Pristine. I trust you. Pristine corners. Trust confirmed. And, and it hasn't been stretched too far either, where you can see the actual bind yeah. of the trade. Yeah. Well done, Thanks, Liam. Well done, Liam. Looking after my books. Uh, you're very welcome. <laughs> um, yeah. Is, is anyone in the chat? Has, has this actually happened to anyone? We've like, you know, I know um, Chris. I don't know if he's joking about it, but 
if as it, as it actually happened that would be um i'd hate that that'd be the worst well, thing ever well chris's worst. response to the original comment was a few hours oh, wide yeah. overreacted i reckon based on his family <laughs> on these family to understand i think that was because phil to phil recommended you dig a hole oh okay that makes more <laughs> so, sense the family will understand that he, he lives will. in a hole. He yeah. Will. <laughs> yeah. And you won't even go to prison for it because they'll be like, he bent my books. Mm. He folded the yeah. pages. I'll be like, all right, just right. Not guilty. <laughs> yeah. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Not guilty. <laughs> ah, there we go. I think, uh, uh, well, Martin, did you have a question or are you good? I'm good. I yeah. haven't come up with one. Put me all on the right. spot no now. No worries. No worries. Okay. Well, Chris said it's go. happened. Oh no! Confirmed. Uh, sorry, mate. Was it a big book? A good book? Like a popular an expensive book? book. Like, was was it you... a close friend? Hadn't I <laughs> hide David to dig a hole? Yeah. yeah. Are they now a foe, not a friend? Um, Is the morning of the friend or the book greater? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the book always, every time. Book, book. You mourn the book. You can get new friends. You can't get new books. That's it. Uh, but there we go, everyone. Thank you for joining in on Ask Anti Phil. Uh, all right. Now, uh, are we ready to play a game? Yes. The yeah. three of you Philip versus Martin versus Liam in a game that we have called Heroes or Zeros. Um, th there's a confession. So last week we played Higher or Lower. And when we originally played Higher or Lower on Arc 1, the game we're about to play is Higher or Lower. The game we played last week was originally named... Um, Do you remember? Not cover. Higher or Lower. Cover, cover Up. up. That's yeah. what it was. So what we played last week was Cover Up. But now that we've called it Higher or Lower, we have to change the name of Higher or Lower that we played on Season 1. And we've changed that to Heroes or Zeroes. So we're going to play it now. Here it is. So the rules of this game is I am going to show you um, a comic, a cover. Yeah. And I'll tell you the information about it, like why it's a key as well. Um, these are all key comics. And uh, I will show you the first price of the first book. And then that's our gauge, higher or lower. Um, how I found these books, I went onto the Key Comic Collector app and I literally just pressed the random button. So I did that six times. So we got six random books and they've gone higher or lower. So it's up to you to tell me uh, if they are higher or lower. Um, I can't remember if I decided if I was going to dish out any extra points. Um, but we'll see now. So you ready for the first one? Yes. Okay. Here it is. This is a wraparound cover of Flashpoint Beyond issue six. Uh, now, the reason why this was a key is because it's a one in 50 cover. Okay. This book is worth $30 as of two days ago. This is a high grade. Okay, all of these books are based on a high grade. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, now, where are we? The next book is Body Bags, released in January 1996, written by Jason Pearson, art by Michael Golden. And this is a key because it's an Ashcan preview of the first 10 pages of the of issue one. Now, do you think this is worth more or less than $30? Everyone in the chat get involved as well. Let's see how you get on. I'm going to try and keep score. Uh, Philip? I think it is worth more. Higher? Okay. Higher. Hero? Uh, say, yeah, let's, let's go with the, uh, heroes or zeros, yeah. Um, Lee? Uh, in that case, I'm going to go zero. Zero. Martin? I'm going to go higher. Yeah. And it's an ash can. Um, yeah. Checking with the chat, though. Fuzzy says higher. Tiago says less. Chris says less. Kevin says less. Alad says higher. BFG. And then I went higher. <laughs> Pony less, Val less. So we've got a bit of a split. Nice. More towards less, by the sounds yeah. of it. Hi, Val, by the way. Uh, they didn't say hi earlier, so hello. Um, okay, so wait, what, what did you guys say again? Higher. 
Higher. Uh, okay. Lower, zero. Okie dokie. All right. Higher or lower than $30? Higher. $50. So that's a point for Philip and Martin. Okay. And congratulations, everyone. So that's Alid and uh, Luke and Fuzzy Dunlop as well. They all went higher. Well done to you. Um, and then T uh, Diego was just a hell of it. I think it's exactly the same. It's never <laughs> going to be exactly the same. I'll tell you that. But oh, great. Thanks. Uh, next one. Punisher issue 97. Released in 1994, December, written by uh, Frank Terran. Um, first appearance of Carlos Cruz, who briefly replaced as Frank as the Punisher. Higher. Is that higher I think, or lower? I think higher. Than $50. Higher Just okay. because the All Punisher's the due to appear in Daredevil Born Again, isn't he? And I'm thinking, okay. is there going to be a first appearance? Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. So you all we went think... higher. Yep, we're all okay. heroes. Should we check in with the chat, see what they yeah. went with. So Fuzzy went lower. Chris went less. BFG goes lower. Kevin says less. Diego says lower just because I never heard of him. <laughs> and it goes lower. Connie says less. Everyone, so everyone is going against what you guys are going for. <laughs> You know, because we're doing a show, you guys are the experts now. Like, everyone looks up to you guys. Uh, I, I think I'm canonically, like, <laughs> the least expert <laughs> member. Canonically. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's find out. Heroes or zeros? It is a zero. <laughs> what? $3 this uh, book is worth. And that's at a high grade as well. We so you'd so think it would be quite important, the first appearance of a character replacing Frank Castle, you'd think that'd be worth a little bit of money, because even if it would be brief. Yeah. See, yeah. I think Frank Castle's been replaced many times. But oh, my my thinking was just was that I know he's going to be in Daredevil Born Again, or at least yeah. a cameo. Yeah. So maybe I thought maybe that's why the Punisher's on that list to start with. I just thought maybe we're going to get something called Carlos Cruz in this series, but there we go. Buggy says so, 1994 oh, was the clue. Yeah, and Kev. And Kev. Books. 90s yeah, books. We, we've all learned something. What are 90s books rubbish? Are they bad? Yeah, they're crap. Yeah. Generally. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Next one then. Black Knight issue five, released in 1956, April. Written by Stan Lee. Uh, and this is the cover art by Joe Manili, uh, featuring the first Black Knight, Sir Percy. So, do you think this is worth more or less than $3? I think it's going to be more. It's got to yeah, be more. It's got to be yeah. higher. Yeah. Okay. It's got to be. All right. Well, watch it be like a... 50p. <laughs> do you want to hazard a guess? $100. $100. The way he's asked, I think it's going to be like that. Are we talking raw? High. Yeah. Yeah, high grade raw. Okay. Like, yeah, these aren't graded. Oh, no, I think this is graded prices, how it's shown. It just on, on the Key Collector app, it just says low, low medium, high. And I always go for the high price. I'm going to say a couple of hundred. Couple 250. Hundred. Okay. All right. I'm going to um, go 300. 300. What's the chat saying? So everyone's saying higher. Yeah. Everyone's coming in higher, but Diego shut the price in. So Diego's oh, gone okay. 150. 150. All right. Okay. Okay. You all said higher. You've all guessed your prices. Uh, here we go. Fifteen hundred bucks, but you all, you all got it right. So, well done. That could be our bo that could be our bonus point thing, shouldn't it? And be um yeah. Ah, oh, he's saying he missed a zero. Yeah, zero there. Uh, ah, yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, nice, well played. Yeah, good job, good job. Right, well done. Next one then. Green Lantern issue one one one. Released in 1978, written by Mike Grell, Dennis O'Neill on the art. A first mention of Starheart, the sentient embodiment of the green flame of the lantern. Now, I didn't know this. I, I think that's really cool um, that they have named the flame in the lantern. I think that's very good. Um, but anyway, do you think this is higher or lower than $1,500? Lower. Liam, you written me? <laughs> uh, I'm torn. I'm a bit torn to be honest. Uh, but yeah. I will go lower, lower, just 
Okay. Just lower. Just lower. Seems lower. The safest option, but because I'm losing, I'm just going to go higher for the hell of it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get a price. Let's get a price. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred and one. <laughs> I'm going. I'm not even going. Four hundred. It's Daniel okay. Neal as well. So before you, we before go. you, we do, yep. the chat is coming in as less as well. Everybody's coming in as lower. So nice. okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> <Eight bucks>. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Uh, so Liam, you did not get that right. Um, yep. I'm, I'm well aware. You well would think the sentient embodiment of the green flame of the lantern would be like a real key piece of like information of the lore of the green lantern? You would think so, wouldn't you? That would mean something. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <sighs> Never mind. Eight dollars. You know, if it appeared in a film or something, then maybe. But I don't know. It's why. a nice cheap key, though, isn't yeah. it? It's a nice cheap key. Yeah, it is yeah. a good key. Yeah, it's cheap. Um, I think this may be the last one, or there may be one more. I can't remember. Um, but the scores <laughs> on the doors at the moment is Philip is on three. Liam is on one. Martin is on three. So this could be a tiebreaker. Okay, here we go. Batman and Robin Adventures, issue 21, released in 1997, uh, written and art by Ty Templeton. And the only reason this is a key is because the cover art is done by Ty Templeton. Higher or lower than $8? Higher. I'm going to say higher. Okay. I'm going to keep playing devil's advocate and go lower. Okay. Prices, we're guessing? Uh, $20. 20 bucks. $5. 30 $30. Lee, what did you say? 5 Yeah, because you said low, wasn't it? All right. But bef before you announce, before you announce, <clears throat> Andy from Petrol Comics is here. Relax, I am oh, here. Hey. Can we start again, please? Oh. Yeah, let's go. Let's start again. <laughs> Just all remember what you said earlier so the scores aren't fixed. <laughs> and we've actually got a few different ones in there now. So we've got a few hires. We've got one lower. Kev's coming in with a lower. Oh, and Chris. And Chris, yeah. Going contrarian less, he says. And we've got some we've got some bad prices chats in as well. So Diego's going in with a 35. And Chris is going in with a two pound. Two whole pounds. Just checking, uh, Tiago, is there a zero to go on that as well? No, or... <laughs> <laughs> just in case, just in case. All right, here we go. Well done, Martin. Yeah. Nice. Well done. So you all said higher, apart from Liam. <laughs> 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 Everyone there. So um, I actually think that's the last one. Let me just check. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Here we go. Thank so you, everyone, for uh, playing. Does Martin guessing it bang on break the tie between him and Phil? Mm, I want to say no, because we didn't start guessing prices till halfway, but he did get it right, so maybe he should. Yeah, there has to be a defensive there yeah. somewhere. So well well done, Martin, if you're lucky yeah. when at the very, very end. Yay. <laughs> I always keep my scores in tallies, so I've written four tallies, 0. 0.5 for Martin. And then four for Phil, one for Liam. Close, Liam. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Better luck next time. But I'd like to the point bottom. out that I'd have won if I wasn't playing Devil's Advocate. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there we go. Fuzzy said he got 100%. Got them all. And Alid. Well done. Clean sweep. Well done. Um, there we go. Uh, thank you very much for playing that. Um, shall we move on? Anyone... Do you want to talk about anything? Anything going on? Uh, nope. 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 I feel like Phil's leading <laughs> something. Phil, Phil's leading yeah, to I, something. I, I just, um, I'm looking for a schedule that I have something I had meant to say. I'm just somewhere right now because I forgot uh, something. No, no, it's fine. Shall we um, take this opportunity to mention Kev being at Thought Bubble? Yes. Yes. Mate. Kev, Kevin Wells, our favorite uh, artist. Um, of the very great comic book, The Last I'm Here Ya. Um, he has been accepted to exhibit at Thought Bubble. Amazing. So good. Let's get the crap Sampled. On. Sampled. Get Sampled. The crap Come on. on. Yeah. Get up, bloody. Get up, bloody. We need, Let's we need some like. As well. Come do, on, do, do, you do, 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 do. At the top. That is absolutely great news. Um, we've yeah. been 
was it? I think he's been trying for like three years. This is the third year now yeah, giving yeah. it a go and he's actually got in and it's fantastic. Um, you know, and Liam and I are going again this year to Thought Bubble. So uh, we, we're really chuffed to be like, be there to support Kev as well. Um, but so great. Um, yeah. I, I do have a, a, t a touch of sympathy because now he's up not like six months to like make loads of stuff. Because I think he said that the other day he wants to make loads more books just for Thought Bubble alone. So the pressure's on, Kev. I know. Get, yeah. get the books out. And I and I did ask him if he was going to do like a, a trade edition of Ooh. the last time here, yeah. And he said he might do it just for um just for that. Oh yeah, and the Weeping Blade as well. He did that little short story. Yeah. That was sick. Well, it was like if, if, if there's a trade coming, <laughs> I want I want a copy of that trade. And I want to know if Weeping Blade, the cyberpunk oh. versions coming at some point. Weeping Blade on that. D A D four. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Ah, that'd be so good. Yeah, that, yeah, I would love that. Yeah, Weeping Blade's actually really good. I think he sold it ages ago for like two pound, and it was like four pages long. Yeah, and it was yeah. like yeah. You, reading it, and I'm like, how is this so good? There's like barely <laughs> yeah. any. There's like no dialogue, barely any dialogue, and you're like, this is this is amazing. Like, it, how it can left you... you wanting more though. That's, is it? That's that's it did its job. But I I it want did, more yeah. of that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. We're gonna be there. We're gonna be supporting kev kev's yeah. saying 100 maybe some trades maybe some cyberpunk so that's yes that's yeah. a yes maybe I'm taking yes. that as a yes it's, it's, you know? a, it's a maybe <laughs> i think there's enough pressure on him already <laughs> we've Except also got maybe. <laughs> we've also got youtube youtube royalty in the house triple g hi a triple g Hello, how's it going please. pete nice good um I, I do want to point out um, uh, Petrol Comics earlier. He says, great to see the show back. It's not easy. There's YouTube blocks. So fair play to you all. I hear that Jake Paul is organizing a boxing match between Killer Comics and us lot. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're next. Like after Mike Tyson is us then. Yeah, us and, you know, Killer Comics. Um, yeah. I think yeah, I could take is... Jake Paul. Yeah, I reckon you could. I, I think well, I could. Are you saying Jake Paul's a part of the Killer Comics show? <laughs> No, it's, no. It's, it's it says us as well as you know. Jake Paul I think, versus Killer Comics. Yes, yeah. like us four, uh, but for yeah. the Killer Comics show, us seven guys could take Jake Paul. I think we could. Do it. I think we could at once. Well, once Mike's had a few rounds with him, I think we'd definitely be able to take him out. Isn't yeah. that the stupidest thing in the world? Mike Tyson's going to kill that guy. It Mike is. Tyson, he, he, he. But I understand there's a no knockout clause or something. Is that right? So he's not with the knock him out. Like he has to like withhold his punches. What? I just, okay, I'm just... not keeping up with this. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> I know there's that. a fight and that's it. That's all yeah. I know. I don't know the Come rules. Tyson. Yeah. Tyson's like Fuzz... sixty. Seems like fuzzy. It. Fuzzy jumps in. <laughs> hey, I refer to my previous comment. Yeah. I didn't learn to fight in the gym. I learned to fight in the streets. Fuzzy. In the streets. <laughs> <laughs> in the streets of <laughs> And he says, I reckon Phil could take. Take on anyone after a few pints. I need a few pints to feel brave because usually I just run away from confrontation. So a few pints, feeling brave. Yeah, good, <laughs> good. You can do it, but it's, we'll we'll let him know. Yeah. Mike Tyson, we were like one punch man. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that. We hope that'd be so good. That'd be really good. Um, all right, moving on. Let's move on. We have our next feature of the show. It is. Book of the month. We need music to this. I'm looking yeah, at this. Yeah. <laughs> looks, it looks, great. looks great. Need some like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Need to go. add uh, Martin to the cover as well. Yeah, get him on as well. And you, mate. You read books too. Um, I mean, I'm on the cover. You just blank oh, yeah. me out. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you thought was two of me. You seen the beer <laughs> off? <laughs> 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 Only one person can have a beer, okay? Um, so yeah, so I, I, but I believe Liam, you haven't got a uh, book of the month this month. I, I do not, unfortunately. No. Okay, that's fine. Um, Martin, do you want to go first? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this month, I've been trying to get back into a bit of reading. I've started reading one series, but I haven't made it enough to sort of give it a full judgment. But one mini series I have finished is uh, James, Ty James Tynion's and Martin Simmons' Universal Monsters Dracula. And, oh, what a book. What a book. Absolutely loved it. 
art in it was absolutely amazing. Martin Simmons just blows it out of the park on every page. Um, the story wasn't what I was expecting, but it was still good because it didn't focus on Dracula, Dracula as the main character. It was, uh, is it Renfield? He's, um, he's sort of, oh, what is he? He's servant, isn't he? He's servant that sort of obeys him. And he's the main focus of the story, I, I felt. And uh, yeah, I just flew through the book instantly, all four issues, one after the other. Great story. Nice. It's, it's something that I need to pick up, or at least look into myself, because I know Pete um, was a big fan of it. Um, when it was coming out, I think they were doing this whole Monsters. Uh, they've got the, the Creature from the Black Lagoon coming soon, so the Monsters verse, yeah. whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. And all looks pretty good, but I heard that Dracula is uh, pretty good, so I may have to check it out myself at some point. Definitely worth a check. It, like, even for the art alone, yeah, the art itself was just amazing. Martin's, I've, I've, this is my first ex proper experience with Martin Simmons. I want to see something else that he's done. I just oh, love his art. Killadelphia. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, I think, and the Department of Truth, maybe? Are they the same That's artist? Why. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Martin Simmons did that. Yeah. Um, do, do you have it with you there? Or is it, you got I've it only on got it digital, on... Uh, I've only got digital. Like, yeah. some of the artwork. Ooh. Can I um, expand you with that? expand me on it's just absolutely amazing that, that is really good actually. and even say so like even the pages yeah yeah just phenomenal it's like a water painted style that's nice yeah just phenomenal yeah good thing is he's going to be at mcm next month so i've is got he? my issue one of this book and i'm going to get it signed nice i'm going to get it remarked I'm probably going to get it CG seed. Nice. Oh, you slammed. Go on, Lee. I'm trying to do that <laughs> you as well. Slammed. You slammed. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. So, like, <laughs> all right. Out of five, what would you give it? Five. I'm going to buy the hardcover. Oh, yeah, with nice. that, I'm going to buy the hardcover when it comes out. Um, it's something I've wanted to read for a little while. I say it's just sat on the back burner. I'm trying to get into a few more um, modern things as opposed to trying to read old stuff as well as new stuff. So I'm trying to get a bit of a variation, but this was the first one I jumped into as it was a quick mini series. And I just, yeah. I felt like I wanted more. I felt they could have really dragged this out for a longer series, but, um, but no four issues was fantastic. I wonder though, once they do all the other monster books, will they have mm -hmm. some sort of event or some sort of, you know, I'm trying to say like collaboration between them all. I don't know. Are they even linked in any other way, like in the movies or anything like that? Well, you think you've got like, um, so because it's the classic uh, horror. So we've got Frankenstein and the Wolfman and, you know, the creature from Black Lagoon. I want to read that one next just to see if it stays with this quality. Yeah. I'm not sure who's who's writing. Is it Ram V on Creature oh. of the Black Lagoon? Quality would be up there then. I think. Yeah. So I'll definitely check it out. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Well, great. That's a really good book of the month. Um, anyone in the chat? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Triple G seems to be agreeing with you. It says Dracula yeah. spot on. And Same with Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Yep. Take it away. Just sort of. Yeah, if Triple G is confirming as well. Creature next. And then Frankenstein. I'll be going for Frankenstein. I love that. Um, as he's saying, Department of Truth. So I'm assuming that's to Martin Simmons. I'm going to have to yeah, check yeah. that out then, if that's yeah. the case, because I loved his art style. Uh, a bit further down, um, Connie said, uh, I gave up on Department of Truth. Uh, <laughs> I didn't understand any of it. And then Triple G says, me too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> me too. Oh, no. Um, I've got the hardcover as well, and I like my thinky type of books. I haven't read it yet. Um, but I'm now a little bit, little bit worried. A little bit, little bit worried. And Pete's confirmed it is Ram V on Creature. Nice. It's Pete. Nice. Uh, Andy has said Salmon Twitch Case Files number one and Morningstar number one are his books of the Ooh. month. Are his uh, bottoms so far? Bottoms. Yeah. Bottoms, bottoms up. <laughs> two, two See, Salmon three. Twitch, that's another one I really want to read because it's that's in the Spawn universe. So, oh, is it? Yeah, I want to try and. I'd like to get that at some point. Nice, nice, great. Um, 
The reason I asked you, Martin, to go first was because, um, you know, in the live chat, we've all discussed what our books of the month are. Um, okay. Philip and I have chosen the same. Oh. Da, 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 something da, epic. Something epic. Um, Phil, what did you think? Um, it's very wordy. That That's the only negative I have towards it. Like See, it, it goes like against the conventional comic book type yeah. thing. But I loved it. I absolutely you'd, loved it. You definitely get your money's worth when it comes to the words. Yeah. Like a book this size, I would probably think that I would finish it in about half the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some like some pages are incredibly dense, but it's good though. It does build yeah. a lot, and it all makes sense when you get to the end and throughout and stuff. And it's very philosophical. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not just making words for the sake of it. It's actually meaningful. Um, for example, there was an issue, I think it was issue two or chapter two, they were talking about like, so basically what this is about is a young guy called Danny, who lives in the real world, but he can see the the world of imagination alongside reality. Um, it's like if you ever hear somebody call your name, you look around, there's no one there, or you feel someone brush against your arm, like that's, you're living amongst the, the imaginative being, so to speak, but he can yeah. see it. No one else can see it, but he can see it. So he has a special gift, and it's all about how your emotions um, fuel imagination, yeah. and how your creativity brings things to life, and he has the ability to create pretty much everything and anything, but he's kind of held down by his dark emotions. Like it's, it's generally how people do, they, they bury things mm. beneath the surface and then yeah. never face in this kind of darkness type of thing. So this is what it's about. But that issue I was talking about where it talked about like, so it's it's, 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 a, well, it's definitely a spoiler, but it's not a spoiler for the story, I suppose. But unfortunately, it, his mother passes away in, in chapter two, and she has cancer. Which, by the way, Scott, did you well up no. at that scene? No. Well, I definitely no. did. <laughs> um, there was a scene, so basically his, his mum was dying, and she called him aside and says, yeah, Danny, it is sad. I, I believe you. I mean, in this house, you know, I'm, I'm dying, and I can hear the vampire and the cat in the attic that you could see. I never believed you before, but I can believe you now because I can hear them arguing. And um, I'm so sad, that issue. And um, it's, I don't know, it's, I thought it was quite a deep story. Like, yeah. he says that cancer is just a word. It's just a word, a six-letter word, but it's your imagination brings it yeah. to the horrendous that you know thing we all think about. So, yeah, Fuzzy, don't worry, I'm not going to say anything bad. Um, I absolutely loved it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It made me want more. And yeah, I just thought it was very clever the way it all came together at the end. Yeah. Um, and it's one thing I would probably recommend to most because yeah. it's not. The, the thing is, like, we've had comic books before, like Donna Kate's crossover, Sean Gordon Murphy's plot holes, where they kind of have the, the furry, nice, colorful characters mixed in mm. with reality, but they're all quite goofy. This is not goofy. This is deep seated, deep, you yeah. know. Thought yeah. provoking, so yeah, I can see why Scott loved it, and oh, I yeah. definitely loved it myself. There was the one thing, um, that really like blew my mind a little bit was towards the start when they start started talking about the fact that imagination is real, and it was mm. like he was talking about the fact that in your brain, the, the neurons are firing and you're creating these images. Energy. Therefore, it's real, and I was like. Oh my god! Yeah, because it's something like energy or something. It's like the energy can't disperse. Yeah. You no, know, it can't just go away. So yeah, have to go somewhere, which is then obviously the the realm of imagination. Yeah, I feel heartless now because I said I didn't. I didn't cry or well up at that. Because I remember asking you, did you ever cry at, Sp at Spider Man number six whenever Spider Bite <clears throat> was in? I don't think you cried at it either. Remember that one years ago? No, from, yeah, because uh, you, you sent me that. Yeah, you sent me that book, I, didn't you? I I cried at that. Um, I. I I didn't cry at this one, but I definitely mm. I felt it. Um, but I sometimes do cry at stories. Yeah. So the last thing I cried at was um, Many Deaths of Layla Star. That was my last, like, oh my God. Proper, yeah, blew me away. Um, but what are you giving this out of five? It's got to be a five, isn't it? Uh, that's got to be. Totally agree. If anyone yeah. saw my Enjoyed good that much. earlier, then yeah, yeah give oh. it a five. And, and, and the thing five. is, so uh, as Fuzzy confirmed, there, it's, there's another arc. And it started strong. I haven't read that issue, but I've heard it's good. Um, 
It says it's coming out in October at the back there. Is it the hardcover? No, no, no. The second volume. Oh, right. Well, I need to look into it because is this, is this going to end at like, you know, what's it like? This, this is one to seven. Is it going to end at 14? Is it going to end at like 18 or something? Because yeah. I might hold off and wait for a hardcover. Mm -hmm. um, I might as well have to because I just dropped it. So. <laughs> um, uh oh. Who published okay. it? Who's the publisher yeah. on it? Image. Image. Yeah. Image. And si you Simon, get the Kerdran Simon Kerdransky is the writer and the artist. Yeah. And we've had this before. First I remember. Time writing, isn't it? Yeah, he's done art for like Marvel and stuff. Like, um, I can't think of the top of my head what it is, but he, he's done a few different things in that image and they're all yeah. well received. Like Pete and Andy at the Killer Comics show, they'll tell you they, they love his stuff. And um, I think he's definitely one to watch out for in terms of yeah. like one of the ones you would follow for his work. And yeah. um, yeah, keep doing great stuff. Did you get crossover vibes from this book? Yeah. yeah. And did you think this is what crossover should have been? I don't know if Donny Cates, I love Donny Cates, but I yeah. don't think Donny Cates is capable to go this far into the story, you know? No. Like Donny Cates, will hit, he'll hit notes that you'll like, oh yeah, like mm -hmm. fuck mm -hmm. yeah moments and stuff, but this is a story that's a bit, a, a bit beyond maybe what he could, he could do. But I, I mentioned there like him doing the art and the story. If you remember Harleen and that was Stepan Sejic, there's mm -hmm. definitely like, you're, you're us as a reader, we're going to benefit more whenever it's like a passion project. They they have time to create and draw to do everything. It's like it's their baby, and they put everything into it. And I think that's what's happened here. Yeah. Andy's chucked a comment at the end, say it's amazing that the book is getting well received now that the trade is out. I don't know about you guys, but I do find it that there are certain readers that follow issue to issue, and there's mm -hmm. quite a lot of us that wait for a trade to get a full story. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, um, it's one of those ones because he's a, a, a relative unknown. Maybe when the, the single issues was coming out, no one really gave it a chance. Um, and then whenever it was, you know, oh, this is really good. It was it was too late to go pick that up or else pay more money for the single issue. But so I I, I did actually only grab this because I know Fuzzy was a fan and um, Andy and and Pete and um, Charlie as well. They're big fans of it, and that's one of the reasons we put, put it on my radar. The the only thing that put it on my radar was the fact that I was going through the previews for that month, you know, for that book to be pre-ordered. And I just stumbled across it. I, I don't know if it was like one of the gems on Previews World or something. Um, but I looked into it, read the synopsis. I was like, this sounds really good. And then it, I kept it on my wish list then, ready to buy, ready to pre-order. And um, I think like two weeks before it came out, I saw like a few posts on Instagram being like, this is a good book. This is one to watch. And I was like, ah, oh, cool. So I like, I picked up on this book before I, I saw there was hype for it. So yeah. even just by the synopsis, like the, the concept itself sounded good and had his own legs before that hype was kind of instilled upon me, you know? Yeah. But you yeah, Martin... Are... Um, I dropped so, so, so obviously, have you got, any, have you got uh, any art to show us? Because I'd love yeah, to see yeah. what the art's like. Um, it sounds great. It sounds like I was saying I want to give it a try. It is great. Um, the art is actually oh, okay. something I, I can't even compare it to anybody. Sorry. The only person I was thinking of was Andrea Sorrentino slightly, but even then, it's not even wow. it's not even comparable. I see a lot of words. Mm. Yeah, a lot of words. There's a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of words. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff like that. Um, but yeah, seven issues in that book. Really good. Um, and at the back of the trade, there are tons oh, yeah. of variant covers, and all of them done by Simon Kudansky. Yeah. Um, yeah, what a, what a guy. Really great art. Really, really good art. And he's um, recommending Try Swan Songs. Just came out of the trade. I read the first couple of that. That's the uh, the guy who does, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Ice Cream Man, same guy that does that, or Ha Ha or oh, something. Okay. Maxwell. I Maybe I, I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, and uh, the first few were very, very good. Um, I might check that out. If it is the same guy from Ice Cream Man, I like Ice Cream Man. So yeah, Maxwell Prince. That's the Maxwell name. Prince. Yeah, Ice Cream Man. Nice, nice, great. Well, good. I'm glad. Everyone seems to enjoy Book of the Month. Um, that's pretty much the main reason we're here. Really, is all to talk about the comics we like. Um, we could also maybe do like ones we don't like as well, but. 
That would mean I'd have to read more than one book a month, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I want to try yeah. and get into that. I want to try and start reading a bit more often, so I've got a bit more yeah. scope. Like, yeah. I, was, I was looking at my Goodreads today, and so far this year, I've only read um, 13 or 14 books, but two of them were novels. Um, so that does take up a lot of my time, but all the rest are just trades mm. and collected editions and stuff. So getting there, slowly. Well, other, well, other than single issues, I've read two books, nice. this and Pet Cemetery. That's it. That's all I've read this year. Turn that off. Well, I've read a couple of things, um, but I'm st- I've just started The Revival. Oh. Tim... Tim Sweeney, I think it is. Tim Sweeney? I think that's his name. Let me find it. Where is it? I've lost it. My God, I should have been prepared for it. My mouth. Scott, just on um, something, something epic, did you think it was a horror? Like, before you picked it up? Seely, no, seely. Um, I think when I read the back and it was like, yeah, imagination is real and all that, and I read the synopsis, I didn't, no, I didn't expect it to be anything horror. No. It was definitely horror, though, but wasn't it, though? It did look like it was going to be dark, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Killer Airways <laughs> book of the month through. That would be great. Let's do that one day. That would be really cool. I'd love that. Let's reach out. That would be really fun, actually. Um... Okay, we are halfway through our show. Um, are we ready to find out what's coming up for the rest of the show? No? no? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Bye. See you, shoot <laughs> him. Okie doke, let's go. Run the VT. All right, so we got Cover Lover coming up right in a minute. Then we got the news and weather. And we've also got our game Fill in the Blanks that we used to play on Season 1. In between the news and weather and Fill in the Blanks, we are going to be revealing a giveaway for the £30 for Sci-Fire. It's going to be really good. We've had quite a lot of entries, um, a few double entries as well, because everyone shared it on their Instagram story. So we will be um, spinning that wheel very soon. Um, I'm looking forward to actually doing this. So yeah, Sci-Fi were great enough to give us um, some credit for you to have on your Sci-Fi account. Um, that is the only prerequisite. You must have a Sci-Fi account. If you don't have one, just go make one. And that's it. And then we will get you the money credited to your account. And that's literally it. I love how Scott says he's looking, he's, he's, he's looking forward to that draw. I'm not. I'm the one responsible for, for, for doing it here. <laughs> yeah. It's and I, I will... Yeah. I will probably mess it up. So um, if your name gets called, it might not be correct. We'll have to do it a second time, third time. We'll It'll get it right, be so. fine. It'll be fine. And it doesn't matter um, if that person isn't here or not. We'll just get in touch with them uh, via Instagram or however they got in touch with us. Um, but yes, it's time for Cover Lover now. Do we have a thing for that? Yeah, we do. Here we go. It's Cover Lover. Cover Lover. Not the one we need music or something oh yeah like little like dilly 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 like <laughs> nice little sparkles or or <laughs> romantic <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> right yeah common lover <laughs> we'll do it we'll do it um so yeah so we had so last time we did this we just randomly picked an issue that we really liked um what did we go for so phil's yours was an issue from Mike Morphin Power Rangers The Return. Yes. There's a virgin issue of that. Mine yeah. was Mike Morphin Power Rangers issue 19. It was like a gold foil uh, variant of that. Martin's, yours was the... Jenny Frizzum variant for yeah. Sandman Nightmare Country. And Liam? And mine was uh, Gleason's variant of Marvel's Alien number one. Yes, one. there we go. Um, and then what, what I did, I did a post on Instagram the day after and everyone shot off to the comments and voted for their favorite one um from last to first place uh, for the best ones we had joint last philip and liam one oh, one vote well, each I for yours i know i know um then i had three votes for my book and then martin had six votes for his book so there we go well done so martin won that one um maybe we should try <laughs> so, so we're not something. taking the uh the poll into account no no, because I, I was like... I was joint top with Martin in the poll. You were, you were. I feel like but... you're skanking me of a second. Sorry, because yeah, I, I, I actually <laughs> voted. <laughs> I voted for myself in the poll last week as well. So <laughs> that's why. That's why I didn't <laughs> trust the poll. I knew you were playing funny buggers as usual. Um, but yeah, but this week we have uh, this month. Sorry, we have a theme, and that theme is the cover must be 
done by the interior artist as well. So, I believe it was um, Highland G who gave us yes. that request. Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah, thanks a lot, Highland G. Uh, really good request. So, all right, let me just get it. Let me just get it up. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. There we go. Right, so here's my pick. Once in Future, issue number one. This is the once per store thank you variant um, from Dan Mora, who was... You know, you guess by the theme, the interior artist of Once in Future. Um, I love this. I, this is I love the symmetry on this. Um, it's also the same cover as the hardcover, but the hardcover isn't coloured. Oh. So if you get your hardcover, you look at this, it's the same cover. It's just not coloured or anything. It's just embossed on the hardcover. I did not realise that, but uh, yeah. that's cool. No, I didn't know that either. It's a nice cover, though. Yeah. It is yeah, nice. very nice. Um, they did a few um, once per store uh, issues. I think about three or four for the whole uh, for, for the for the whole thirty issue run. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That's mine. Uh, Highland G has said it looks like a back of a playing card. It does. It does. I can very that. true. Yeah, it's good. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. You could okay. see it, couldn't you, on a pack of once in future inspired cards? Yeah, that'd be so good. Um, Oh, no, Chris, not really a fan, Scott. Sorry, lad. That's okay. I can take it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, then there we go, Martin. Here's yours. I went for the uh, foil cover for Green Arrow number one, the new 2023 series by Sean Isaac. Um, so, go on. Let's say this is, this is the cover A, um, but this is the foil variant, so it takes off all the trade dress. So yeah, but it's right. got all the characters that are in the series and the main part of the cover is obviously Green Arrow and I love Black Canary. So nice. this jumped out to me because this is one I've been picking up in singles. So Yeah, you enjoying it? Um I haven't got too far into it. But yeah, I have got I have got them. I just I love the art um in this series. I'd say Green Arrow is one of my favourite characters. So yeah, been picking all the variants as well. It's just, Nice. Um, oh. What part of this is foiled? Is the whole thing foiled, or is it just whole certain thing. parts? Or the whole, the whole thing. thing? I have got it somewhere. Yeah, uh, I've actually I've, I've got it put away because I'm actually sending it off to CGC. So I'm going to get it slabbed. Nice. You Wrap around. It. So when you turn it around both sides, it looks nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, great. Okay. Um, I've had another vote against mine. Um, but uh, Chris is like foil, you say? He's happy with yes, nice. all foil, hundred percent foil. Next up, we got Liam's. Yes, um, I went for the Transformers Back to the Future crossover because why wouldn't you? Like, <laughs> you look at this cover, you see a flux capacitor and a transformer. You're like, I want in, and <laughs> I want like, in. I, I want in. Like, I wanted in <laughs> as soon as I saw this cover and. Here we are now. Yeah. This is the cover A version by uh, Juan uh, Samu. Yeah. Um, yeah. Looks really good. Oh, it looks sick, man. Looks like, fun, doesn't it, it? Yeah, it looks really fun. All I'm thinking when I see this is I want a toy of this Transformers DeLorean. Exactly. Like, you, you see that DeLorean Transformer, you want it. I do want that <laughs> on, my, on, on my desk right here with a glowing flux capacitor. That'd be, that's cool. That'd be great, isn't it? Uh, Val is saying, how did I miss that, that run? That's just damn love it. Um, when did that it, come out? Wasn't it like um, 2021, 22? Oh, I can't remember. You're asking me a question now. I know. I want to say 2021. Because I bought you this, didn't I? I bought you that cover for like your birthday Indeed. or something like that. Yeah, um, yeah. Is so... that why you felt compelled to pick it? Was that... no, I no, told him he had uh, to pick it's... it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's yeah. not on my wall, unfortunately. Yeah. Highland G says he has that cover as well. It is awesome. It is good. It's awesome. Uh, there we go. Nice one. And then finally, Phil. Yeah, so I knew these Patrick Gleason web variants have been uh, done to hell. Um, he's done like a million of them for different characters. But this was the first original one, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 55. And um, I don't want people to think this is just, you know, white lines on a black 
board. It's really not. There's actually a lot more to this. Um, and I think it looks phenomenal. I actually have this uh, graded 9.8 by CGC. Ooh. And uh, I have the Virgin, I have Trade Dress, and I have the blue one, the red one. I have multiples off this same um, image. Um, and I, you know, I've got my first negative comment. Oh dear, Phil. As if, like, <laughs> I just oh, think dear. these are great. I, I enjoy them. They're good fun. Um, but equally, it's actually really difficult to find a cover A or a comic book cover of mm. somebody who who does the story, like a good one, like a worthy one, you know, because generally co comics covers by the same interior artists, they're just bog standard, run of the mill stuff. So I was trying to find something out of the ordinary. And yes, it is literally white lines on a black background. <laughs> However, the structure is still there. And he's had to use the lines to do it. He's got the eyes and the shade. And that's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. Yeah. Each to their own, isn't it? That's yes, it I suppose. Is. Yeah. But it is nice. I, I can't um, disagree with you. It is good. Um, so, yeah. So, nice here are all our covers once again. Uh, have a quick look um, and tell me why mine is your favourite. And that's I, I think you're currently losing. I am currently losing. I, I just, just want to highlight Andy's comment. He said, "I think that is a thing, mine." I'm, so, I'm hoping he's talking about the Transformers yeah, toy. Because yeah. if that Ooh, is a thing, I need really? to get one. Yeah, same. Mm. I'll have to message Pete. Pete will know for sure where to get one. Pete he is the toy three, man. Yeah. That'd be really good, <laughs> wouldn't it? I'm gonna see if I can find it right now. There's also, nothing better it's October to October 2020, Scott. 2020? October 2020. And he said, so you guys can pick any cover that has ever existed. Yes, Andy. Yeah. And you think that we... But can I just pick. say, the last Although one... it is time to say, like, put in your suggestions for the theme next month or next yeah. episode. Mm. Yeah. There, yeah. There will be a theme suggested by one of you guys. But last month for the first one, I didn't understand the assignment because I thought we were picking recent covers. So I picked the Power Rangers one, which was just out. Um, but now I know I can't it? pick everything. Yeah. yeah. Lee, what is that character's name? Is it called Gigawatt? Yes. Yes. It is a thing, mate. There is an actual Transformer <laughs> on eBay. Um, looks old though. It's like a. Oh no, it was 2020. <laughs> Sorry. Can you see that? It's really small, but it's there. It's on Thanks, eBay. Andy. <laughs> It's actually a lot harder than you think to pick. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, so yeah, give us a give us a theme, Andy. Um, yeah, is it just release the cover and no actual? Oh. But it is. Yeah. It is. It's difficult to find a run where the main artist on the book has actually done something spectacular uh, as a cover. You know, yeah. I think. You know, Phil's yeah, like, pick is a is an amazing pick. I have to admit, I'm jealous of him pick Phil's car cover because <laughs> that is a nice cover. Uh, that's a good thing. The best yellow comic you can find because I have plenty of Scotty Youngs, boobs, or, or okay. Andy's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Be, we'll take really them hard. down and we will. Yeah, I've never we'll... seen a comic with boobs in it. I have no idea where we're going to find them. Uh, oh, I've, I've got the boobs. I've got a few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. That was cover lover. Here we go. Um, yeah, if you want to send us your suggestions uh, for a theme uh, for next time, or if you just want to get involved and send us pictures of covers that you would have picked for this theme, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll show it next episode as well. If you want to, if you want to send us one. Um, okay, Phil, are you ready for your big moment? I know you've prepared for this. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, big moment for Phil. Okay, everyone, please. <coughs> Sit down with your cup of tea and get ready for Comic Airwaves news and weather. So, I thought I was ready. So, this is the news segment, my own segment, the best segment of the show, some people say, because I get to speak on more. Well. Oh, yeah, second best. <laughs> so, uh, some comic book news. The first appearance of Superman, Action Comics number one, has gone under the hammer at Heritage Auctions and has sold for a record-breaking... We'll have a guess, Scott. What would you... Give me I a know price. what it is. Okay. Liam, give me a price. <laughs> um, 10 cents. Oh, <laughs> see, never, never mind. Uh, does, does, uh, it was... Um, 
Oh, I did see it. It was over a million, wasn't it? Right, okay. It was. 1.5? Six, six million dollars. This massive amount of money has surpassed the previous record price tag of the same book uh, for $5.3 million. It has a CGC grade of 8.5. And when describing the item, the lot said, the colors are stunningly rich and the cover is almost pristine and largely unmarred. I look forward to the unboxing over on Triple J Comics. <laughs> and uh, industry experts estimate that only 100 copies of the 200,000 survive today. So 8.5, that's, I'd love to have that. Sticking with comics, uh, Mike Magnola and Lands Unknown. Mike Magnola has created a new non-Hellboy universe, Lands Unknown. Last year, Magnola was reportedly working on a new universe and some details have now emerged. Bowling with Corpses and Other Strange Tales from Lands Unknown, yes, that is the title, is a new anthology of folklore-inspired fantasy tales to be published by Dark Horse in November. And the first book from Mike Magnola's new Dark, House, Dark Horse imprint, Curious Objects. Moving on to some movie news. And, should uh, we be con- moving this? Oh, yes, I should be. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, yeah, apologies. <laughs> that's right, that's yeah. right. I got you, I got you. Movie news, uh, new Silver Surfer confirmed. Juliet Gardner is given up life in the Ozarks for outer space. The Emmy, Emmy and Golden Globe winner will make her MCU debut as the Silver Surfer in the new Fantastic Four movie. She joins Pedro Pascal and others confirmed for Marvel's first family in what has been rumoured to be a period piece set in the 1960s. She'll play Shalabal version of the character. A twist which has uh, set off some alarm bells for some fans pondering the direction of the film. So any fans disappointed that Norrin Rad's Silver Surfer isn't returning to the big screen, Lakeith Stanfield, I believe is his name, Hmm. is an American actor and musician, has added more fuel to the fire of speculation that the way that Marvel has decided to integrate uh, the Fantastic Four into the current MCU is via an alternate reality. Stanfield commented on Instagram saying, which has not since been deleted, uh, thought this was going to be me, implying that he has already been given the role of the Silver Surfer. So don't get your knickers in a twist. We could get both <laughs> versions of the Silver Surfer in this movie, which I'm, I'm delighted about because I, I, I love the original Silver Surfer. Um, sticking with movies, uh, Warner Brothers announced a new Matrix movie. It's been tw- uh, it's been a little over 25 years since the first film in the cyberpunk series. And I drew Goddard, he's writer of The Martian, Cloverfield and World mm. War Z, will write and direct the fifth film in the groundbreaking cyberpunk franchise. This is the first in the series not to directly involve its co-creators Lana or Lily Wachowski, though Lana is attached to executive producer, I believe. Um, Goddard, who was Oscar nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay for The Martian in 2016, has considerable sci-fi credits to his name, also involved with Buffy, Angel, Alias, Lost, and co-creator of Marvel's Daredevil. Um, nice. Drew himself approached Warner Brothers with a quote, a new idea that we all believe will be an incredible uh, way to continue the Matrix world by both honoring what Lana and Lily began over 25 years ago and offering a unique perspective based on his own love of the series and characters. That's from um, the president of Warner Brothers production, Jesse somebody. Um, he's not that famous, we don't know him. <laughs> uh, but no actual details <laughs> of the movie have emerged as of yet. Sticking with movies, June Messiah, officially in the works. Um, there we go. I've lost my word. Coming off the success of Dune Part 2, the director Dennis Villeneuve now gets to fulfil his goal of making three Dune movies. Part Mm. 2 completed the adaption of Frank Herbert's original 1965 sci-fi novel. The first of the sequels is Dune Messiah, which is what Villeneuve wished to adapt for his third and final movie in the series. And that's that. And I move on to some TV. Oh, Mm. that the... Last month, the trailer dropped for the live-action adoption of the hit video game franchise, Fallout. The post-apocalyptic sci-fi series based on the beloved video game franchise from Interplay Entertainment and Bethesda Softworks is due to hit Amazon Prime on the 12th of April, which is like six days from now. Mm. Um, It appears the entire series will drop at once, so prepare to binge. And that, thankfully, is the news. Now on to the (laughs) weather. Thank you very much, Phil. On. Oh.
There we go. On to the weather. Here we go. The hottest book where you are at the moment is Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, $1,000. The first appearance and origin of Luke Cage, first appearance of Diamondback, Comanche, and The Shades. Captain America, $110, coming in at $500. The first appearance of Madam Hydra. Uh, Doctor Strange, number one, at $150. The first solo title and the first appearance of Silver Dagger. Then, Uncanny X-Men 221, at $75. The first full appearance of Mr. Sinister. Then we have Fantastic Four, 244 at $40. The first appearance of Frankie Ray as the second Nova who becomes Herald, uh, the Herald of Galactus. Then Stray Dogs, number one, at $20. Um, it was September 2020, Paramount bought the rights. Uh, and in 2023, uh, Gary Doberman became attached to the project. And now, finally, we have Justice League Dark, number one, at $10 with the first team appearance of Justice League Dark. And that's what's hot and cold. Where? You are. Look at that for timing. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah. That goes too fast. I write too much. It goes too fast. <laughs> Got to slow it down. But there we go. There we go, everyone. That's the news and weather this month. Uh, let me know if you've got any of those books. If you have Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, number one, then it might be quids in. If you have even Captain America, one 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 zero, then... You're going to be having a good time as well. Um, what I didn't mention about that one, I said it was the first appearance of Madam Hydra. It was also the first appearance of Rick Jones, who was the, the fourth Bucky. That's what it says there as well. But there we go. Okay. Um, Phil, it's giveaway time. Oh, yeah. Sam, too, too much responsibility here, guys. Sorry. Too much. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I realised my flaw. So, yes, I'm standing. So, I've got the monitor here, but my second monitor's down here. So, I couldn't have the Word document with the news. So, I couldn't oh, I get function. It. You know, I, 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 we'll improve for next for next, uh, yeah. for next next month. Don't worry. Right. So, we have the names. Have the um, names. Um, yeah. So, like I said earlier on, Sci-Fi gave us £30 to give away. Um, the only prerequisite is you've got to have a sci-fi account. That's the only thing you need to have. Um, and once you do have one, we'll get that money credited to your account. Um, whilst I'm here, uh, you've been seeing it on the ticker, the whole show down below, but um, we are doing, uh, we do have a code with sci-fi as well. If you just type in airwaves, when you go to check out your stuff, you get 5% back, you get 5% off. And uh, yeah, ev everyone's a winner. So we get a little bit of money back. That's going to all go towards the channel. We're going to be paying for stuff to be improved. Um, I'm going to get like some freelancers in, do some stuff for the show. Um, and yeah, it's all going to go back to the show, all for you. So there we go. We've had tons of entries. Some of them are double entries because they shared it to their stories as well. Um, and I think that's it. So let's st yeah. stop them from waiting now. Yeah, we're going to shuffle. Liam, you're the producer. Give me a number between one and five, please. When it comes to them. shuffling, it's got to be five times. Okay. <laughs> okay, so five shuffles. One, five shuffles. Two, boys. three, four, five. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. I hope it's me. Who's what taking it home? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. oh. Fuzzy. Is. One and only fuzzy. Buzzy, you've won. Well done. And he's in the show as well, which is even better. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, it nearly landed on ALB then, which is um, Andy is in one of the group chats we're on. And um, he messaged me saying, oh, I re I'm really sorry. I can't watch the show um, this week. I'm on a stag do. But if I win in advance, then thanks and just let me know. Um, <laughs> so, it's so close to landing on him. And I was like, geez, how has he predicted that? But that's fantastic that uh, Fuzzy has won. Um, uh, Fuzzy, if you just send me a message later on, tell me what your uh, email address or username, something like that, for Sci-Fi is, and I'll let them know, and we'll get the credit into your account. Um, Excellent. Well I also think, I also think that the five percent code will work as well. Yeah, yes. it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. Because I won a one from another Instagram account, the Three Welsh guys. Yeah. yeah. I got one from them and the discount code used, I use that as well. So it nice. does work. Cool. There we go. Then she's got 30 quid and you can use that and you can get 5% off as well with us. So that's amazing. But well done. Thanks, Andy Phil. Yeah. 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 Great. Right. 
it's like it's like when your auntie gives you money in it when when you when you go over for the day. Here we go, darling. Here's thirty pounds. And spend it all at once. Yeah, spend it all. Good you boy. can only spend it at this website though, and and that's that. But yeah, well done. Congratulations. Yeah, let me know what your username is, and uh, and we'll we'll get it all sorted for you. Well done. And just just out of nosiness, like if you what if you buy it, let us know. I just I just want to yes. know. Tag us in it. Yes. Put a story on. Um, let us know what you buy. Uh, yeah, can't wait to see what that hard-earned money goes towards. Can we go? So, yeah. Uh, do you know Fuzzy is uh, a massive wrestling fan? Any wrestling fans here? Yeah. 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 Just, you know, for you guys in the chat, I know Scott and Liam may not be wrestling fans, but it is WrestleMania weekend. WrestleMania 40s tonight. I cannot wait. Martin, are you up to date? Are you following the current storylines? Yeah. yeah, I'm with so, you. So is Cody Rhodes going to finish the story? Oh, do you know, I, I want Cody to finish it, but I just got a feeling they're not going to do it. After yeah. the announcement that Roman's outright come out and said that once I lose the title, I'm calling it a day. You know, that's yeah. just that's spoiled it because you now know that WWE's cash cow is is not going anywhere yet. Yeah, but the, the, they've got them scheduled for SummerSlam at the big outdoor arena as well. And I, I have a funny feeling, and this is my prediction, hmm. that The Rock, I mean, I know who The Rock is, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he is the final boss. And I think he's going to turn on Roman. I think Cody will win the belt. And you'll find The Rock against Roman uh, in SummerSlam. That's my prediction. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for that too. That's what, that's what my money's on. But Oh, we've lost a subscriber. Talk about wrestling, but you know, no. Oh, no. Co comics and wrestling they go hand in hand. There's wrestling comics, you know. CM Punk he writes comics, so not good ones though. Uh, <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> That's all the wrestling talk. Thank you very much for allowing me that moment. Uh, okay. That's all the wrestling talk. Okay, cool. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I wanted to, so all we've got left now is one game. Um, I am aware that I'm currently lagging. Um, I think it's because I opened Discord, which is going to be my point of discussion. Um, we have started um, a Discord group uh, for Comic Airwaves, um, and I was trying to load it up so I could get the link, uh, which I have. Um, so there's the link in the chat there. Um, if anyone would like to join our Comic Airwaves uh, Discord server, then feel free. We'll be doing... Uh, little updates of the show, um, just general discussion. Uh, Connie has joined in. We've already appointed her as our chief banter officer. Um, congratulations. And um, yeah, there, there'll be other things in there as well. There'll be There's some um, threads in there about uh, the other shows we're going to be doing on the channel soon as well. Um, like we're going to be doing the Room 616, Omni First is coming back, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it'll be a big Comic Airwaves channel related discord discussion and, and we awesome. and we will expand it as well so we, we will add different sort of categories and different subjects depending on what people like and you know so we can broaden it out and one can talk about everything geeky everything that we love yeah. in its own separate area I, I honestly think to sell this you just tell people it's a direct contact between them and myself that, that you know you can get through oh me God, we've just got a thousand people join yeah, <laughs> Jeez. thanks, Phil. Oh my god, yeah. the money once again, everyone. Oh, yeah. money. That's right, the money. So, yeah, so if you want to join it, uh, feel free, no, no pressure, but um, we'll be doing updates there first before anywhere else and all the likes. Um, and for anyone that wants to send in like cover of the month, uh, sorry, cover lover, book of the month, um, you can send them on there as well, and that'll be easier for us to get to them and feature them on here as well. But there we go. Are you ready for our last game? Yeah. Yeah? Can't wait playing? to lose. <laughs> I, I swear you do it on purpose now. I swear. It. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are going to be playing fill in the blanks. So here we go. Da, 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 da. Guess what that says? Um, okay. Uh... <laughs> so this game, uh, what I'm going to do is show you a quote from a film. Um, and there will be either one or two words missing. If there's two words missing, it's going to be the same word or, you know, a, a slight variation of that word. OK, 
Okay, so if you guess one of the words, it's fine, it counts. Um, I am not telling you who said it. I'm not telling you what film it is. Um, you will get one point for guessing the word, and you will get one extra point each if you can guess the character that says it and the film it's from. So you so there's between one and three points up for grabs per uh, quote. Are we clear? Yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. Say it again, Lee. Fill in the blinks. <laughs> fill in the blinks. <laughs> blinkity blink, it's, blinkity it's, blink. It's fill in the blanks. It's uh, peel into damn it blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Toe blocks. <laughs> Toe blocks. <laughs> okay, right. Ready for our first one? Okay. You think blank is your ally, but you merely adopted the blank. Um, I would, I would have done this. Yeah. I mean, how are we doing this? Just say what you want. Say what you think. Go on, Phil. You think darkness is your ally, but you merely adopted the dark. Darkness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Darkness. Being um, Dark Knight. Being no, Dark, dark Knight Races. Dark no, Knight I'm going to take your first yeah. answer. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should have a board for this one. I think yeah. I'm just I into the like darkness. We have, uh, done the old writing on a whiteboard. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. Um, teething issues will sort for next time. So that's what you think. Okay, here it is. It is Bane from the Dark Knight Rises, and he says, "You think darkness is your ally, uh, but you were merely adopted. But you merely adopted the dark." Yeah. There we go. So what's that? Two points for Phil. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then. Um, three points, everyone else. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, because Liam said darkness at the end. Uh, no, that's fine. Because, okay. okay. Just compare right. okay. Everyone else in the chat as well, do get involved. I'd love to see if you're getting these as well. Um, okay, next one. If you cage the blank, the blank will get angry. Who's that? Bill was first. Go on, give it a punt. Um, the beast. If you cage okay. the beast, the yeah. beast will get angry. Um, but I can't think what my fits from. No. I'm going to say, um, the Avengers. I'll the go with Loki. I'll go with Loki. Says it maybe. Loki. Uh, Liam, you guessing? What for film? Uh, yeah, film character. Gotta be someone in the chat who can get this. Yes, it's, it's I, I'm I'm agree with oh. uh it's Loki. I, Loki the Avengers. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna third that. Okay, all right. It is Wolverine from X Men The Last Stand. If you wow. cage the beast, the beast will get angry. So he said there. So he he watched those those X Men movies, really. Well, I did. Yeah. Were great. Well, they, well, they weren't. <laughs> yeah, they they wasn't that great. <laughs> um, they weren't great, but they were fun. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good right. for the time. Good for the time. I'm struggling to figure out who's who's getting points now, um, because Phil gave the answer. Yeah, Phil came. And then first. you two just agreed. It, like, it yeah, sounds yeah. like a team effort, doesn't it? At the moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe I, we should I do definitely points for this, knew then. it was. I definitely knew it was beast. Beast. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't do points. Maybe we should just sack off the points yeah. and just play. Just for team. Fun. Okay, mm. all right. We'll, we'll, we'll do that then. Okay. All right, next one. You don't need to be a blank to get the girl. The right girl will bring out the hero in you. Big clue there. I was going to say, like, isn't it just hero? <laughs> it's hero. me meant to blank the it's, second. It's not actually. Didn't I know. feel like I changed it. You don't need to be an asshole to get the girl. The right girl <laughs> will bring the hero out in you. <laughs> um, so it's not hero. Have you confirmed it's not hero? It's not the word hero. Oh. Chris reckons it's Phil. You don't need to be a Phil. It helps. It helps. <laughs> it does help. <laughs> The right girl would bring out the fill in you. 
Surely it'd be a. Um, I don't know. I'm stumped. Can but, you give us a hint? Of, of... Uh, it's incredibly similar, but it's a superhero. Superhero. <laughs> superhero. There we go. And I want to think. Only, I, I, only is it that point? Yeah. Is it kick ass? Maybe. I'm just thinking outside the box. Okay. Kick ass. It sounds cheesy. Yeah. So what cheesy films do we know? Superhero cheesy films. Uh, Connie's got it. I think. I uh, yeah. The the second Deadpool movie with the, the little yeah, uh, kid, maybe. It, yeah. Deadpool. Deadpool. Was, it, was it Colossus <laughs> that said it? No, it's Deadpool that says it. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. Because yeah. can't do a Ryan Reynolds impression, so I'm not going to try that. Um, there we go. Well, okay. Well done, Connie. Well done, Connie. Next one. She googled it. If we can't protect the world, you can be damn sure we'll. Blanket, avenge it. Oh uh, yeah, avenge, avenge it. it. Yes. Okay. Captain America said it. I think. Yeah. No. That's, was, that's got to be the. It was no, Tony Stark, no, wasn't it? No, Tony wanted a, a a shield around the world, so he did say it's it Cap. technically. But I think Cap, he does say it in the in the in the end game movie, but I'm pretty certain this one's Cap said it first. So which one would this be then? Because if Cap says it, uh, I can hear him saying it. Yeah. Chris Bell. Chris Bell. Chris Bell's answer. We'll fill it. We'll show, that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> um, well, that's lost me. Um, it's got to be the first Avengers movie, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm, it's whenever they're having that discussion. That, that discussion when you know they've where Loki's escaped with um and Hulk's yeah. gone mad and they've had that yeah. fight on the heli carrier. I feel like it's bigger though. I feel like this is further on down it. Hmm. Come on, boys! Final. I think I think it's definitely Captain America and the Avengers, and it's a we'll avenge it. That's what I think. We'll go with that. I'll I'll, I'll go with Phil. We'll fill it. Yeah. In my head, I'm I'm picturing Tony Stark saying it in the first. Oh, hold on. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Oh man. I'm maybe getting confused if Cap said we'll do that together too. So I don't know. Could go, with Martin. You, you, you dig out of this hole here. Come on. No, I, I have to admit. Now Connie's just said that. I'm starting to think Connie's 100. <laughs> <Yeah. right. laughs> percent Yeah. Yeah, and we're. The I experts. mean, Connie's got this. You yeah, can hear experts, it, can't yeah, you? Expert. This is where yeah. points would have been useful because I'd have won. It's it's when he's pouring the whiskey too, isn't it? There yeah, we well go. There yeah. We go. If we can't protect the world, you can be damn sure we'll event. Oh shit! We'll be damn sure we'll shit it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, the Avengers, the word there. Well done, Scott. Nailed it. Okay, last one. I think this is the last one. That was four, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's about what you believe. And I believe in blank. Only blank will truly save the world. Now I'm worried See, that. The, so this is the same word, okay? I'm now worried that it, I haven't done it right for the next slide again. I'm. I'm I think I Chris is. is. Chris has got me in reading it wrong now. It, it's about Phil. what believe you believe, Phil. and I believe in Phil. <laughs> Only Phil will truly, truly save, save the world. The world. <laughs> uh, you know that's not the right answer. Right, Next time we play um, this game, I'm not going to blank them out. I'm just going to change the words to Phil. Yes. That's a good idea. Yes, that and, is uh, fantastic. Yeah, so like the Bane one, isn't it? you were born in the Phil. <laughs> you were adopted by the Phil. <laughs> um, right. Andy's got a guess. Let's throw Andy's up there. Wonder Woman. Okay, all right. You reckon it's love? I, 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 that's probably true because I don't, I don't remember much about Wonder Woman. Yes, uh, what you believe? Great in, film. Believe in love. It might be the scene at the start in the supermarket with the young girl. Maybe she says, "I believe it." Isn't no, this the okay. first Wonder Woman though? A discussion with her and Steve Trevor. Nope. Oh, so it's not Wonder Woman. No, it is Wonder Woman. It's just not that scene. So she doesn't say it's to, to Steve Trevor at all? Nope. Does she say it to her mum, maybe? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so it's Wonder They're Woman. They're the two people she yeah. speaks to the most it's in the love. film. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So Wonder Woman's saying it. What, what, what's the film called? Do you want to um, guess what the film is called? Is it 
Wonder Woman 86. Second one. Uh, so because Scott said, guess what the film is? And we've already said Wonder Woman about four or five yeah, times. Yeah. So that is the I'm name just, of the movie. I'm just, I'm just messing with you boys. It's Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And it's about what you believe and I believe in. Yep, love, I did it wrong. Yep. Only Phil will truly save <laughs> the world. Um, yeah, the word is love. And um, I did this last night. Um, but yeah, she says this to Ares just before she properly defeats him in the film. The first one was good. The first one was Connie says it's painfully cringe. Nah. I've never watched another Wonder Woman again. Love it. Set says it to Ares. The second one was good too, but it was significantly worse than the first. The first yeah. was really good. Yeah, the first one is probably my favourite DC film from that like line. Um, oh, yeah, I enjoyed. Okay. I enjoyed that. I thought she was a good Wonder Woman. There we go. But... That's and then she's gone. No longer Wonder Woman. No. Gone. Get did. She was really good. Mm, there yeah. we go. There we go. That's filling in the blanks. Um, and that is the end of Comic Age. No. Yeah. See. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> um, no thank you everyone thank you everyone for joining in we've we've had a fantastic time i think we peaked at like what 20 viewers today that's mm -hmm. really good that was definitely better than last yeah. time so again next time we want it to be even more and even more involved and we want you to get involved and thank you a bunch of people have joined the discord already i think we've got about four or five people join that so thank you very much um we'll get that uh get everything rolling in there soon fuzzy Give me a username for sci-fi if you haven't got one. Make a sci-fi account and we'll get that sorted. Um, that's it. That's it. We did say last time we'd make an outro, but... Um, we haven't. Didn't do that. <laughs> so Maybe uh, next month. Yeah. Hey, Lee, play the, play the song. There we go. Thanks. So, yeah, we'll be back probably in another month. Three or four weeks' time, we'll be back for another show with some same features and some new features. But that's it. Can't wait to see you next time. Love you, bye. Bye.